Hi, welcome to Python basics. Today we will be learning about functions. Functions are very useful when you want to organize similar pieces of code or rep repeating code. Rather than having to constantly type out the same code, you can put the desired code in a function and call it whenever you want to use it. In short, the purpose of a function is to help reduce redundant code throughout the program. They are very useful. And one interesting fact, the print statement that we have been using in the previous lessons is also a function. So let's look at how you can create a function. So you, you define a function using a keyword called def, D-E-F. Uh, Keywords are basically reserved words that you cannot use when you're naming something in your code. Def is a keyword. Um, print is a keyword. You will get to know a lot more keywords as we go deeper into um, the language. So you, you start off by using the word def followed by a function name. This is the name of the function which usually describes what the function does and you can name it anything you want except the keywords that we just discussed right now. This is followed by a bracket, an opening bracket, with a list of parameters, and they can be as many as you want. Uh, the basic job of a parameter is um, to be able to pass different values to the function, and by being able to do that, you can make your function generic. You can pass in different values to do the same kind of job. You can end the list by a closing bracket and has to be followed by a colon. And that is very important. So this is the defining line that defines your function. Anything after the function is called the body of the function. But if you notice something, there are certain amount of spaces or tabs in front of the lines below the function name, below the function definition. This is very important to figure out what the body of the function is. Um, and as we already discussed, this is the body of the function. These three lines will be executed when function named function name is called. As you can see, all of these three lines are comments, so they would obviously not be executed when a function named function name is called. So um, let's go a little bit more deep into the function body. So, and a body that does not consist of only comments. So here you see a function. This function is um, has a keyword def followed by a function name called section A. It has two parameters, start measure and end measure. You see that there are three lines right after the function definition. And these three lines are have one tab in front of it each. All these three lines are the part of function A. Uh, sorry, function named section A. Um, and if you see, there are two lines right here, but they are not tapped in just like these three lines. These two lines are outside function A and will not be executed when this function is called from some other part of the program. Um, so how do you how do you call this function basically? So the, that brings us to the next part of this lesson. How do you call function? You basically use the function name. In our case, the function name is section A, right? So we write down section A, open brackets, and then you specify the values of the parameters. So here, as you can see, I have specified one as the value of parameter start measure and nine as value of parameter end measure. 
So by doing this, I am going to call a function called section A with one and nine. By doing that, I will basically be executing these three lines here. We will go deeper into what these lines are doing in uh, one of the workshops, but that is not important right now. So, so that was the function call. One thing that you have to be very, very careful about, apart from indentation, which is, you know, making sure these are inside the function and, you know, like making sure that the brackets are right, colon is right, um, the parameters is right, is to make sure that you are calling the function. This function call is after the function definition. Um, so in the screen, you can see that this is the function because it has a def keyword, right? It has a function name, it has parameters, and these are the sentences uh, in the body of the function. Uh, we also see that there's a call to this function, but this is above this function definition, and this is going to fail. You should always have the call to the function after the function definition. Just keep that in mind and you'll figure it out. Um, so let's go ahead and do a challenge. Let me get rid of the solution here. Uh, let's see. All right, so the challenge here is we, we should create a function called add numbers that takes in two parameters called number one and number two and prints the sum on the console. So this is uh, the function that we would want to create. The first thing we would want to do is use the keyword def, and we have already been given a name of the function, which is add numbers. So we add it, so we put it here, followed by an opening brackets. And it says that the function should take two parameters, number one and number two. So let's put in here. And if you remember, it should be followed by this. All right, so um, for anything inside the function, I should have one tab or spaces. And um, this function is supposed to print the sum of those two numbers on the console. So let us do that. Let us print the sum of number one and number two in the console. So this is my function. I can use this function add numbers anywhere in my code, wherever I need to add two numbers in my code. All right, let's see what um, the next part of this problem is. Call the function add numbers with parameters three and five. five. So we, as we discussed before, we should always call the function after we have defined it. So let's call this function add numbers and add three and five. So let's go and run this. There you go. The numbers three and five were passed into this function and they were added and printed on the screen. So now you you must have seen how useful functions are because if I had written like a whole lot of code here and it's a long code and I had it and I had to add uh, more numbers in multiple parts of the code, I could have just used this function to add you know codes uh, to add numbers. So um, there you go. So those are functions for you.